right, good morning and welcome to something a bit different again. And uh, it's not drifting this weekend, but we're at Longleat's a safari park that we've wanted to visit for quite a while. It's taken us about two hours to get here, and I must admit, uh, it's quite expensive to get in. It was, it, it was £34 each to get in. Thir yeah. Yeah, nearly £35 each to get in, so yeah, that's two adults. Anyway, we're here, and like I said, it's somewhere we've wanted to visit for a while, because we like these safari sort of style parks. We've been to Woburn quite a bit, we've been to West Midland Safari Park, which will go later in the year when it reopens. And um, yeah, so I'll get you some footage on the GoPro and then... On the, see much yeah, you haven't got much to see much at all, so you've got your bongos down here. I'll get you some footage on the phone as well, some zooming in things. Here's a look at the map anyway, of the safari. So we're just coming here at the bottom. You've got the bongo pass, the warthogs, African village, zebras, there's all sorts of stuff. Monkeys and lions and tigers and wolves. And then we drive back to the main bit where you've got <laughs> you've got all of this. So you've got the house and there's a couple of little rides, there's some hedge mazes, there's back cave, there's a train. Yeah, so it's, it's quite a lot. Oh look, you've got the African village. Oh wow, so you can go out, park up and yeah, go and see the giraffes. Oh, it's massive. This this whole area is absolutely huge. It, 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 it took us 15 minutes just to drive to this bit from the from the main entrance. It was. Yeah. About 10, 10 to when we got here. So there's a couple of bits where you can get out and walk. Obviously drive around as well. We've never been here before, so we don't know what's actually here. So, yeah, so there's... Fake giraffe. <laughs> There's pits here you can get out and have a look at. Walk through. Oh yeah, we've got the lemurs here. Oh, you can't park now. Park oh, we've got to park there. up. So, but there you go, <laughs> lemurs. We didn't know that was there. So there's a bit where you can park up and look at lemurs. We can't quite like lemurs. That's a shame. Because now we're in the actual main bit All now. Right, here we go. Ostriches. Ostriches. So with these safari parks, obviously you got to make sure the wind is done up as well. Doors are locked. Doors are locked. Yeah. Kids aren't allowed out of seatbelts. No, they're not. No. Oh, because in the old days you'd get kids driving the cars. Oh. Big boards. Yeah, so something different. Um, to the channel, obviously the parks are still closed for another couple of weeks. I think Legoland's back open next weekend, which I might try and get to because they've got the new Dino Duplo Dino coasters uh, opened, which is the new little coaster there. Adults get on it. Andrew. I don't know. Well, I'll I'll, I'll get on it. <laughs> uh, and then Alton Towers in a couple of weeks. Yeah, we've got some stuff to look forward to as well. Right, you've got the monkey drive through. The yeah, there's a. Is this it's a. Oh, uh, uh? Where? Uh? Have I gone the wrong way? I have no idea. Is it closed? Oh, we're a bit confused. I don't know if they come and close the gate or open the gate or what, but we just drove into the monkey bit, as you can electric? see. Have I gone the wrong way? Oh, here comes a monkey. Here it comes. Whoa, whee! <laughs> Oh, he wants to pull things. Oh, oh, I was running away. <laughs> yeah, so we found the monkey enclosure. Um, the, the gates are um, manly, uh, manual operated. So we're like, um, there's one just running down here. There's a, a red Peugeot over there and it's covered in them. Is, is he? Is he alright? <laughs> Monkey. See, look, there's car bits. Oh my god, there is. There's a bit of a trim of car there. God, we didn't realise there's one on the back of the car. <laughs> oh no. Oh, mum with baby. Do, sitting there. Do your wiper blade. Oh no, it's going. 
I've got a mum with a baby sitting in the road. I can't see if it's working. It's down, it's down here. Oh. Watch the big puddle. It's still on the back of the it's car. It's still there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's looking. <laughs> he's looking the rain. He's looking the rain. <laughs> <laughs> These monkeys are everywhere. They're, they're still they're on the Persia. Break that. that one's determined to break it. Oh. <laughs> oh we're stuck now. So we just got to this bit here and they got the uh, the rhinos just come out. Right, so we've just been in the section where the lines were. Um, yeah, it saw a bit. We've got one of the uh, male lines um, doing some roaring. Never got that on foot before. Just want to say when we're driving around, actually, because uh, we used to live near Woburn Safari Park, and we'd been there quite often. Never actually filmed it because I just don't think these sort of vlogs are that interesting, um, especially if you can't get any footage of the animals. Um, there's a lot of cars here as well, so there's a lot of stopping. Yeah, I think there's some more lines over here. Uh, there's a lot of stopping, people pushing in, and it's quite awkward sometimes. And you come to these places when they're busy, you, you know, lots of, what was it, West Midlands, we did it one year, oh, it was three, three hours. Three hours. <laughs> so, I mean, we've been in this bit nearly an hour already. Um, and then there's still other things to see. Um, but yeah, Woburn, I was just, trying to say I think is is better really it's, it's a better safari park uh, they've got bears and and wolves I think there's wolves here but the bear section brilliant really good fun seeing the bears walking around um, yeah quite yeah it's, I like, we like the bears it seems quite busy here yeah they're over there so yeah if you wanted to go to some sort of safari park Really recommend Woburn Safari Park. We'll probably go oh, there again this year. The, the, That's very excited. Yeah, they've seen something, haven't they? I don't know if the GoPro's picking it up, but there's about six or seven lines there. They've, they've seen something. I keep looking through the fence. Something spooked them. Right, so next up is the cheaters. So after waiting about 15, 20. 20 minutes um yeah if you know we've been to these safari parks before you basically you've got these sections here where they have double-sided gates there's a gate on there and there's a gate on you know behind us that we've just come through and they've got to fill this section up and then they open one and then close the other one this one seems to be uh, manually operated i don't know if they're broken with the motors or what i don't know there's a few that have been like that today already and there's, uh, there's a there's the a cheaters. the cheaters which is over there <laughs> it's over there somewhere we've gone past it and then there was a there was one over there somewhere but it's as you can see it's raining now <laughs> we haven't yeah these are the sort of places you want to come in the summertime oh look there's, there's two there oh yeah yeah these are sort of summertime place attractions really wow Yeah, beautiful. Oh, that one's running. I was running. Journey. Oh, it's gone over there now. I think next up is the wolves, and that's it for the safari. It's it's all right. It's it's not that actually. Yeah. Not, we've seen a lot of animals. We have seen a lot of animals. Yeah, I still think the one at Walburn's slightly better. If I'm honest, yeah, but they have automated gates. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 
and if there's not a lot of cars in it they'll still open it for you it saves you waiting it they're filling it up but no it's all right oh sorry hyenas are next spotted oh. hyena yeah i've had to zoom in on my phone for this one there's the wolf there yeah we didn't see didn't see any hyenas at all not one but as wolves go that's it's the only one so far. We're used to wandering around like Yeah. Unless they are Right, so we've just done the uh, the safari, uh, came down into the main section now. Uh, we've just parked in here. And um, yeah, so you've got the like a cafeteria and stuff. No, actually we parked in here. Uh, cafeteria, toilets, just had something to eat. I'm going to walk around here now and show you what else is in here. But looking at this, this is pretty much what what there is. There's some children's play areas and the mazes. There's a couple of little rides. Well, that's about it, really. Um, they do some other events and things. They do a festival of light, which I actually wanted to come to last year, but it it's very popular and it was booked out quite a lot, so didn't manage to come and do that. Something I would like to come and do next year well sorry this year at the end of the year if we can manage to do that so there's a, a ride here it's like one of them little pony rides you sit on where it's uh, animals lions and tigers and rhinos and that sort of thing i don't really know what else is here to be honest i mean what i was saying to you when we was on the safari i think it's quite expensive if i'm honest nearly 35 pound each we was in the safari for an hour and there's children's rides and things the long house I, I, that's a yeah that's nothing in there some birds over there i think that's about it for here yeah i don't think we can go on the rides bit of a shame but never mind um one of the other safari places that i've, I've been to before um is Knowsley Safari Park um, they used to have a coaster there I'm not actually too sure if it's still there so if you have been to Knowsley F Safari Park recently just let me know it might be worth going to get the credit Hello. <laughs> they got a new friend well there's two wow they're odd looking things aren't they Wow, I've never seen them before. Yeah, I think that's... Sagittarius Serpentarius. Wow, look! Yeah, massive, aren't they? Mm. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the um, the drifting vlog that I did last weekend. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea. It's not had a huge amount of views on it. Um, but if you are interested in cars, then go and have a look. It was a nice experience to go and do something like that. Something that I've probably never really thought about doing before, but to get something like that as a birthday present, it was all right. Yeah, as you can see behind me, there's there's nothing down here, really. So I think we've got to walk back. There's children's play pens and things like that over there. Yeah. <laughs> it's a day out though, isn't it? I was just saying that it's still technically the close season in the UK. Alton Towers opens uh, in a couple of weeks. Legoland opens up next weekend. Chessington, uh, Thorpe's again in a couple of weeks. Blackpool's been doing the one weekends. Um, and that's probably about it. And then they all start opening up very soon. So, you know, people say that there's nothing to do in the close season. Well, you know, if you look for summer, there's always something to do zoos and things like this are open pretty much every every day of the year obviously they need the income don't they to, to pay for the animals there's quite a few places that we've been to before never done a vlog there's a paradise uh animal park that was quite good we went to i think it was last year didn't film it though yeah i don't think we can go on the rides there's a train we'll go around and do the train it's very nice though, it's a nice place. Oh, and we drove past Stonehenge as well on the way here. Something else I've not seen before, but we drove past it and saw it, so that's good enough.
It's a really long train. Yeah, yeah, that'll do. Yeah, really long train. We waited oh, about 10 minutes till they opened it up. Really long train though. Goes all the way down there. Oh, we can get some good footage from here. Oh, what's in there? So the train was all right. Um, took about, I don't know, 13 minutes, 10 minutes, something like that. Quite a long distance, but as you can see, the uh, the carriages are very small in there, so not a lot of movement. If you like your miniature trains, I suppose it's a good one to come and check out. Really nice train. There you go, goes down the other side of the track to the front of the train and pulls it back the other way. That was pretty good, that. All right, so we've got the rocking rhino over there. I don't think by looking at it, I don't, well, I'm saying that, she's on her own. I don't know, we might, we'll ask it a bit anyway. Um, but you've got animal adventures down here, which is like reptiles and birds and creepy crawlies and things like that. Hey, it's not a bad place actually here. I know there's a, there's a fan of the channel um, called Jed and he's been pestering me to come here. So yeah, we're here. It's, it's all right. It's nice to, to see something different. Oh, what are they growing in there? Oh, spider. Huge one down there. Just there. Uh... Oh, there's loads of them. Oh my God, there's loads of them. Spiders in all these little things. A wolf spider. Oh no, look at all that. Ugh. It's really pretty park this, there's some really nice sections. 
Got this little bridge here that just walked over. You've got like the stream and stuff down here. You've got the ducks on the side. Looks like we've got to go and see the rainbow lorikeets. One of them places where you get like the little tubs of nectar and you can feed the birds. One pound a pot. Right, here we go. Oh my god, they're so cute. Ha ha hello! Oh, they've got the nectar. The... Hey! Ah! Ah! Hello! Oh, hello! Here we go. Come here. Hey, Ben. There we go. Andy. There we go. That's it, it's gone already. Gone, you were sneaking on me. I'm moving round to get out of the way. Come on, let somebody, let somebody else out. Oh, it's gone! Oh, yeah, you don't get a lot. <laughs> Pound a tub. <laughs> really cool, though. I like these little. Oh, she's gone. Oh, the... it's gone. It's gone. Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> no, you don't. It cost double. Yeah, we were just saying as well. I, I didn't actually know how much it cost myself, but yeah, apparently it will, but it's 50p a, a, a tub for that 50p. Um, yeah, there's a couple down here. They're cute though, the little birds. They're very pretty. Yeah, they are very pretty. Well, <laughs> when you've got a couple sneaking at the door waiting for you. <laughs> oh, they're, they're still over oh, there. Yeah, they're yeah, they know it. <laughs> no tongues, please. Family channel. <laughs> Oh yeah! Well, they're on the door waiting. <laughs> they, they know. Come on then. Well, when it when it's empty, they're not interested. They, they know. Come on then. Not interested. All right. So next up, you've got giant otters and crocodiles and koala creek. I think that's fairly new. There is something that was new here last year I think it's the koalas I'm not entirely sure but no I like the birds it's always nice to feed the birds the bites yeah it's not it's not great is it the weather is it's terrible it's, we've not had a good start to the year so far with the weather <laughs> oh well Oh, here's the Koala Creek. Ooh. Oh, it doesn't like that light. Oh, it's reflecting up. Oh, it stinks. Whoa, look at the size of the otters. Oh, there he is. Whoa. Oh. Giant otters, yeah, he does, he does smell in here. Oh, oh, a couple of Cuban crocodiles, you just make them out over there. It's really warm in here though, you walk you walk through there, it's like a fridge in there, and then you walk in here, it's like a sauna. Yeah, Cuban crocodiles. They're just over there. Nice, isn't it? That's cute. They look a bit dopey. <laughs> really big though, aren't they? Mm. Yeah, so we've come outside and then saw the giant otters. Ah, so this is the Koala Creek. Oh, yee. <laughs> there's, um, there's one over there. And there's a couple over here as well. Really cute ones. It, it, I'll tell you what, it was a real shame with them bush fires in Australia. 
but um, this looks really new actually all the um, posts and things oh. Koala. Alright, so you've got this indoor section as well, actually. That's really good. There's a few of them in here. Yeah, they do. Apparently, well, I don't know if it's got some like 18 hours a day or something they sleep. So you've got one up there in the centre of the screen. And you've got a few over there. Yeah, so they do a bird show here as well. We've just missed one at two o'clock. The next one is at three o'clock, which is in about 20 minutes. Well, you can come up here and see the birds. There's a nice little venue for it just here. I like these butterflies up here in the ceiling with the uh, LED antennae. Very cool. Well, there's actually quite a lot of stuff to see here at Longleat and uh, in here you've got porcupines can't see any though can't see one might be in the bucket yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh they're in the house over there what's in there? rats? the mice? oh no what is it? chipmunk? Chipmunks. <laughs> Just down here. Yeah, it's the thing about using a GoPro for um, zoos and things. You can't, you can't normally get the best, best footage. But it is, it is there. Look there. <laughs> All right, she zoomed in on her phone. It's quite a good idea. <laughs> yeah, just a little albino chipmunk. It's really cool. They've got all these socks and stuff to go in and out of. This looks pretty new as well. You could tell with all like the. The wood in that. Yeah, the porcupines in that hut. Don't know what's in there. Oh, ferrets! That's ferret. Anyone that's watched Kindergarten Cop with Schwarzenegger? It's ferret. It's not a dog, it's ferret down there. Sleep. No, these are really cute. Never seen these before. Brazilian guinea pigs. <laughs> like little rats. With no tail. Hello. <laughs> They're really cute. A oh, decent size run to them, actually. Where's is it gone? That one over there. Yeah. <laughs> They're all cute. Yeah. So over here you've got some standard guinea pigs. Domestic. Oh domestic guinea pigs, yeah. Or if you live in Peru, dinner time. <laughs> Alright, so we just come out of that exit just there. And straight into a gift shop, but I don't think that's the end of the experience or the zoo or whatever. But I think there's a bit more to see than what we've just seen so far. Oh, these are cute. <laughs> Whatever they are, little lions and things, little key rings. Yeah, you got your generic, oh, I think all zoos are the same, aren't they? You got your koalas and, you know, magnets and it's all pretty much generic sort of stuff, isn't it? Yeah, let's see what else we can find. Right, so I've come over to the Rockin' Rhino ride. Um, adults can go on it. It says if you're a certain height, you can go on solo. It doesn't say anything about weight or anything. But yeah, there's all sorts of things. Lions, rhinos. In fact, I think it's just lions and rhinos. Well, it looks good though. It's got a bit of theme into it. 
nice little station. Won't be waiting too long, there's not many people stood there waiting. And it's all included, so that's pretty good. Why not, eh? It's a ride. <laughs> I got on the rhino. <laughs> There's your hedge maze. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. It looks like Rocky has trashed this place, and I don't like the look on that monkey's face. Those pesky monkeys with their fancy construction. Those pillars were loose. I hardly touched them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the little rhino ride was quite fun. You know, it's a it's a ride. Uh, anyway, we're going in Jungle Kingdom now. Don't know what's in this bit, but I'm guessing some sort of jungle themed. Uh, I can see the meerkats over there. Yeah, also if you check online at Longleat, you can do all sorts of VIP uh, experiences as well, like feed the animals, that sort of thing. I say that, I think most zoos do stuff like that now. I'm quite enjoying it here actually, it's, it's turned out to be a nice day. What's in there? Porcupines. Three of them what was up. the thing you saw in the other house? They were tiny ones. Oh, little ones. They were different. Different breed, breed. yeah. But there were three of them cuddled up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's normal otters. That's what we could see before while we was on the train. Standard, Standard otters. Standard. Meerkats. <laughs> Really looking for, oh, and eaters. Really looking forward to seeing the bats actually, bat cave. Eh? Oh, fuck, yeah. Oh, look at them. Oh, what are them? Did you not notice? I didn't see them. Like guinea pig kangaroo things. Guinea pig kangaroos. Yeah, guinea pig kangaroos. Oh, look at the aardvarks. <laughs> Funny things, are they? <laughs> so, this is actually quite unique because, other than here, I, I don't know of any other zoos or wildlife parks where you can actually walk in with the meerkats because they're just here, they're running across the path. So, what's left On both sides as well. So, you've got like the tunnels and things over there. Yeah, look. Oh, they're just there on the, on the floor. So they can run across. Oh, look, oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, I don't know of any other place that does this. Excellent. Oh, what? Everybody found that hilarious. Why does the mid cat cost? Yeah, they got a lot of Oh, this one as well. Oh. How many meerkats do you have? We have uh, 20 Hello. That's 12 boys, 12 girls. Yeah. We, we, we know, we know, um, we know, uh, like 23 boys. In That's brilliant. You like your meerkats? Again, there's a good place to come. Just like a security gate to go through here and on that side as well. Well, that's brilliant. Right, out of Jungle Kingdom, and next up, I think there's the last sort of things to do. You've got the back cave, you've got a mirror maze, which I didn't know was here. Some for, for, formal gardens as well. More toilet stops and things if you want them. But no, it's, it's not bad actually. Uh, you can walk around the house as well. The estate, you've got some sort of sweet shop there, which is closed. It's open. It's, uh, it is open, yeah. It's open. I thought it was closed. Traditional sweetie okay. shop. Oh, I know, no, I want sweets. I'll look, I'll look through the window. There you go. Oh. Sweetie shop. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. So we got, we got um, Lord Beth's sweet shop. We've got a uh, chocolate and honeycomb 
and Rocky Road and they look amazing uh, three pound each so Rocky Road bar barrel bar and Hurric Honeycomb barrel bar oh it looks amazing and I need the toilet which is just here somewhere uh, and then next up is the bat cave Ah, right, let's go and have a look in the bat cave really enjoy these sort of attractions the one at uh, chester zoo is amazing really good really no it is oh i don't think it's free f oh it might be yeah it could be free flowing we've been to a few where they were like in a cage Oh. oh, there you are, that's one. Way, woo! <laughs> nice. Family channel. Tinkle and poos. <laughs> really good, though. I was literally stood here talking to someone, one was peeing on my left shoulder, and they were like, uh, way much about yet. Whoa. Oh my god, look. Beautiful. The grand scheme of things, small, medium in size, they're not the biggest bat, they're not the deadliest bat. The biggest ones are around 1.7 metres, so they're absolutely terrifying. 7 metres what? Wingspan? 1.7 metres. 1.7 metres. Still pretty impressive. It is, yeah. They look like flying foxes, they look more like a fox or a batman than actual bats. Now these guys have been Egyptian fruit bats. They're arguing to say about 50, 60, 70 metres wingspan. Most of the British species fit in the palm of your hand. Yeah. Tiny bats. They're babies, aren't they? Yeah, you got these guys. These are all old Ben, these ones. Yeah, they're all about 68 years old. And we get them from other bat caves that let them breed and get out of control. We, we basically retire the boys. There's another zoo that takes them. Absolutely love the bat cave. Um, yeah, there were basically fruit bats in there, uh, medium sized ones, so not too big, not too small. Very good, actually. I do recommend if you like bats and that sort of thing, um, definitely check out the one at Chester Zoo because it's amazing. Um, there's a section in Chester Zoo where you can stand in like a, a small tunnel, if you will, and they just fly past you. It's brilliant. So you can see now we're in this courtyard for the house. Just try to figure out where where you get into it. Long leak, oh yeah, long leak house. So this is the last sort of thing here to do, other than the mazes. So there's all sorts of things here. Where was the front of it at? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's a really big estate. There's a lot to see here. Hope you've enjoyed this one today. Um, there will be some more theme parks coming up in the, the next few weeks. Just try and mix it up a bit, really. Yeah, so we're here now. We'll walk around the front and have a walk around the house. Oh, no, it's been a good day so far. Ah, it's gorgeous out here. It just shows you the size of the, some of these estates that we've got in the UK. It, I don't know if it'll make it out, but there's like some sort of stone archway there. That's technically the entrance to this house. So in the old days, they would own all of, they would own all of this land. And a lot of them have been turned into wildlife parks. The same goes with Woburn. That's got a big house like this. A safari park and other bits to it. What's the rules? No flash photography. Yeah, no flash photography. No eating and drinking. Let's go and see what we can see in there. Right, unfortunately, yeah, I walked in there and not allowed to film at all or take any pictures. But what a really nice house that was, really grand. Some massive rooms in there, bedrooms and hallways and all sorts of stuff. It was just a lot of things to see, really amazing. And I just come outside with my uh, generic coffee 
and um it is, it is a generic coffee actually yeah it's just out of the out of the machine it's no no brand on that one and um yeah you've got some of the smaller mazes that that we saw on the map so there's one over there and there's this one just here as well i think what we'll do is we'll have another go around the safari because other than the sailing boats over there or well just the boats so there's no sail on it so it's not a sailing boat we've pretty much done everything but we've had a good time here i've really enjoyed it actually walking around the house is very nice uh shame i couldn't get any footage in there but it's just an old big grand house you've got to come out here and see it yourself really enjoyed it today as well just forget when you come out to these sort of places that you make sure you wash your hands um obviously don't spread germs and things like that and um just yeah come out and see some animals really enjoyed it no nah, we're not doing the big maze i'll sit in a car for an hour right so we came back into the car thinking that we'd probably be able to have another go around the safari it did close at four o'clock we've missed it by literally nine ten minutes we've got here the gates are closed <laughs> unfortunately uh it's a bit bit too late so we've just put in the sat nav to go back home which is about two hours drive but now we've really enjoyed it today it's been, it's been a good day um i have wanted to come here for a while done quite a few safari parks now um around the uk this one's just one of the best ones i would say probably midland safari park is probably the best because it's got the theme park as well and the coasters then i would say woburn for basically the safari itself but this one's really good all round the fact that everything's included as well um the little rides the train and the house as well um whereas some of the other ones it's it's all like separate priced uh, so that's quite good now i really enjoyed it um i hope you've been liked this vlog again something a bit different if you've enjoyed it i'll probably do more of these type of videos especially when the parks are closed and there's nothing for us to do uh next weekend um, got a couple of things lined up maybe um, Lego Land for the opening of the new coaster and then I'm thinking of talking about going to South Sea as well maybe but I don't know just have to wait and see but yeah I hope you've enjoyed this one don't forget to leave a like comment um, below as well don't forget to turn the bell on for the notification so you get next time we upload another video and um, from Longleat Safari I'll see you later bye for now